Hi everyone, it's Taylor. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm an American expat living in Malaysia and I like to share my life and travels with you. Well, today I'm finally going to give you a little bit of news about the MM2H program. Oh my gosh, they seem to just be teasing us with only a little bit of information. And I wanted to wait until I had the whole picture sorted. But I just thought maybe you'd be interested to hear what I know now. Sound interesting? Stay tuned! So, once again, Malaysia has released the revisions to the MM2H program. And once again, it has generated more questions than answers, I'm afraid. I mean, even the MM2 agents are confused. So I'll tell you what I know, but keep in mind that there's more to come. And as soon as I know more, I'll tell you guys. But the new program is a three-tiered program, platinum, gold, and silver. So I'll go over what they've announced now, and then we can talk about it a bit. So I'm going to start with the lowest tier, because that's probably going to be the most interesting one for my viewers. And it's called the silver level. The silver level requires a fixed deposit in the amount of 500,000 ringgit, or about 105,000 US. After one year, you can do a maximum withdrawal of 50%, for the purpose of purchasing real estate, health, or traveling it within Malaysia. And I understand that it's a minimum purchase of 750,000 ringgit for the real estate. You must reside in Malaysia for at least 60 days a year, cumulative, and that doesn't have to be only the participant, it can be other dependents too. This is for participants aged 30 to 49 years of age. So I don't know if it's going to be different for over 50. We'll see, I guess. And this visa will be valid for five years and is renewable. Next, I'll tell you about the gold level. The gold level requires a fixed deposit of 2 million ringgit, or about US dollars 420,800. Again, after one year, you can withdraw up to 50% for the purpose of purchasing real estate, health or traveling within Malaysia. This one also, you must be in Malaysia at least 60 days a year, cumulative, and this is also for ages 30 to 49 years. This visa is valid for 15 years and can be renewed. Again, the minimum price for real estate would be 750,000 ringgit. Next, I'll talk about the platinum level. The platinum level is mostly for people who are interested in becoming a permanent resident of Malaysia. The platinum level requires a fixed deposit of 5 million ringgit, or US dollars 1.05 million. Again, you can withdraw 50% after a year for the purchase of purchasing real estate, health, and traveling within Malaysia. And that real estate must be over 1.5 million. Again, you have to be in Malaysia 60 days a year. Cumulative. This is also for ages 30 to 49 years. And after you obtain the MM2H pass, you will be eligible to obtain a permanent residence. So all I can say is it's a little bit better than before. The 500,000 fixed deposit is way better than 1 million. It's still not down where it was when I got it, which was 150,000 ringgit. But it's still better and should appeal to more people. But of course, like you, I have a million questions about this. As I said earlier, what about people who are over 49 years old? I would think that would be the target audience for MM2H, really, or it used to be. Also, they mention nothing about income requirements. Does this mean that the fixed deposit is all you need to do and not have any minimum monthly requirements for income? Who knows? And I think that provision for 50% withdrawal for travel within Malaysia, how are they going to track that? Hmm, a lot of questions, I say. I did hear from an MM2H agent that the existing visa holders of MM2H will be grandfathered in at their original terms. So that's a relief for me. Again, I really wanted to wait till I had more information, but this information is getting out there and people are whoa, more confused than ever. But at least it shows that it's going in the right direction. And we should have something soon 
about how they're going to treat people over 49. And as soon as they do, you can rest assured that Taylor will have a video about it. So I hope this is good news for some of you. And I know that it's generated a lot of interest on the MM2H Facebook groups. But like I said, more questions than answers. But I'll get to those just as soon as I can. As always, if you found this video interesting or informative, please like and subscribe and check the notification bell too. That way you won't miss any of the, my future updates about MM2H. So I hope this video finds you all happy and healthy and ready for the holidays coming up. I know I'm having a wonderful time. I just got back from a weekend in Penang that was sensational. I'll have more about that in the coming weeks. But sadly, that's all I have for today. I wish I had more information for you. Please don't fill the comments with thousands of questions because I won't know the answer. I have just told you everything that I know and everything that anyone knows at this point. But a little good news is better than no news, I suppose. But that's all I have for today. Talk to you later. Bye. Get, 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 get.